All right, guys, we're here at, the, at Richmond Steel, and I found this interesting deck, and we're gonna go ahead and get into it. It's uh, Monarchs with an extra deck. Uh, he'll explain some things and go with, you know, he'll explain his thought process on th uh, car choice, and uh, it's really interesting. I watched it play for a little while yesterday, and it's a little better than the other Monarch, in my opinion, at disrupting plays, and he'll, he'll explain. Let's start. So I play Three Heaven, the best Monarch in the deck. I like two underworld. Uh, See why only two? He's like everybody loves him. Uh, cause like I, I was thinking the cards and the underworld is like I think the total five not five is a good number for all of those. But I would rather like sometimes I, because I play only one domain, so I don't have the enough tri uh, tribute folder for the underworld. Also, I want to draw more cards for myself. Then just like shuffle my opponent's one card, I think it's better to drop cross. Okay. Also, for the super problems, I play three red guy and uh, one blue guy. For so squares, I play two light and one dark. Uh, I used to play, I, I used to play like two dark and two light, but I just feel this one. I mean, they both they just do the same thing, to my opinion. And sometimes it's so weak to draw this card. So I just changed that. So also I play four hand traps. Like two ghost server and uh, like two later. So is there any reason you specifically think these are necessary in the main deck or uh I just feel because I always drop heaven during my opponent's turn, so I can like summon cries and pop my cards so that I can draw like hand trap. I like that play. Also, Ghost Dog, Ghost Dog is the teleport target, so I can make Acro deck. And uh, I want to balance the matchup against the uh, Farm Pump, because I play Acro deck, so it's kind of hard for me to beat the Prepe, so I need Ghost Dogers for that. I think Vader is decent, because uh, I don't think Maxi is good with that, this deck, because if you summon Christ your opponent's turn and you draw two cards, and then you draw Maxi, it's not that good, because your opponent's already spell summon. Uh, and it's brought in the mirror, which is Cosmo. Also, I think uh, Ghost Dog and Vader is better than Maxi against Pepe. For uh, well, the spells, I play the three drop power, the best spell, and three tenacity, three storm force, and three return. I think it's important because if you have the teleport, just like summon the blue guy and tribute summon for the right, got by this car. And if you have the return, just like search heaven. It's very important. Also, it's good with uh, with the uh, Christ. So you can do training one, target six, and training to search and pump that draw card. And uh, two twin twister. I I don't really like this card, but I feel for a certain matchup against Cosmo, if you go second, it's just so important to have this card. I would just like auto lose. Uh, and one foolish. Uh, there's basically like you can do three things with foolish. The first one is like you can throw the what I call the idea to get back the banish card. I do that a lot. Also, you can. If you the underworld, that means you have a monarch in your hand. Also, you can dump the red layer. That happens if you open foolish return and the right. So you can foolish the another copy and you re actually return, summon this, get this back, and trigger summon. So you can activate. Okay, combo cards? Yeah. It, I mean, sometimes it makes you break, but I still like it. Uh, yeah, and one domain. Because I play Acrodex, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but certain, in a certain situation, I need that card. To, like, search with Tenacity to drop my big guys. It may help you run over. Yeah, it's run, uh, run over the, like, the opponent's monarch in the mirror match. Yeah. Also, the Describer. I play three Grind. Because sometimes I usually like, send two of them in my grade, so I can make rank fives, like, once per turn, you know. I activate like this in my opponent's turn and activate in my turn. So I need like two in my graveyard. So I need the third one to like recycle. Also, uh, if you draw like this, right, you can just like draw two cards 
and like panic to the uh, this one, get this, like shooting straight and fully to the idea, get this back. Yep, so and then you can do it again. Uh, yeah, Jay. you can get this too. Combo cards. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, that's about the main. It's like 41 cards. Also, yeah, this is extra. I like this a lot. And the first one is play this. Uh, you can make this with two prime. It can, in the mirror match, you can bounce your opponent's prime in the battle phase. So you just like kill him. And uh, the tears. I like this because it can get rid of the mask, even though opponents have destroyer. Because it can't destroy by battle. Uh, by card effect, it have uh, materials. And also the super quantum guy. Uh, this is pretty broken because you against uh, Atlantis, you just summon this with the red guy, the red there, and you can pump the uh, your opponent's monster during opponent's turn. That's pretty good. And uh, the dark one, I I don't I didn't really make this a lot because I really make this or that, but I I played this like uh, yesterday versus Cosmo because he has two masks and I auto one with tears and uh, I make this or the second one, but suddenly he has the third one. And I just can't help it. Uh, and the Rocker Sauce. It's this broken card. OTK opponents. Also the Shark Fortress. This card is actually gain if you have. Any 28, 100 point beat? Any, any 28, yeah. Just like. It's 8,000. And uh, the Wind Up guy. This is basically a Twin Twister. Like, you can make a Twin Twister like every time. Why not? It's broken. Also. Dime 7. Dime 7 is like, uh, if you open... Open like this. Like, you summon that, summon, uh, activate domain, and reduce to 6. And you should be summon. Uh, this one will get the, this one will get, the, like, see, underworld. Uh, summon price. How many two? And you can go two cards and overlay into M7 and detach get this back. Also, if you stun the stun this card with the heaven, you can ban it and get strong from. You have, you have everything. Yeah. Basically you win. And if your opponents can't kill this, guess what? It's so broken. Uh, and the charger. Charger is for the worker zone. And the third one, cause like I didn't really make this a lot. It's only for the mirror match, cause the opponents can't act, just activate stone for us and trip your guy. No. Uh, also the. You can make synchros. Yeah, the blue guy. This is really good. There's only one uh, way to make that is ghost stalker and uh, the super corner. But I believe it's decent, cause you just like. Destroy back row and during the opponent's turn, just destroy another one. Yeah. And during your turn, you can detach something back and activate again. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. And uh, the synchronous. I play a spark. Cause. Uh, Subword. Yeah, cause I play a mask. It's only for the mirror. And the scrap is stable, I think. Cause it's the only card you can out the, the floggates. The side frame. I like this a lot, cause sometimes. You can't trigger something, but you can make this. So it's a play anyway. Uh, so the Scarlet. This is an MVP card, like yesterday. I made this three times against the uh, Pepe and Atlantis, and I just blow the ball after I trigger something. It's really good. Uh, well, that's all I really been, wanted to see. Uh, the side deck is generic, mass trick from the mirror, ma maxi. Yeah. Uh, I play this mask uh, for the mirror. No matter if I go second or first, I. This car because I have extra deck, I just like beat my opponents down and the two brass through. This is for the like heroes or like mirror match. I said it's in also some roller decks. I, I have I like Typhoon against the uh, Pepe because it can if you go second, you just just, just, just like destroy his scale. Also, it destroys the uh, floggates because that's what people play, play with that. Uh, I play two chain, it's for basically for the mirror. Also for BA, uh, if I go first. And Phantom nice now. Yeah, yeah, of course it is. It's so broken versus that deck. And uh, I play one book. It's, it's kind of weird for most people because 
it doesn't seem like a strong card to play. But I like this card called If I Go First. It just like it gets rid of the winner if you summon a square. And if your opponent didn't have a winner, just set it as a trap. Uh, and I could, uh, also one team here called Blockades. And uh, one March with uh, two Magic Fiend. I think I don't mean Magic Fiend because I only think it's good versus certain matchup. It's not good versus like Pepe or Mirror. In the Mirror match, it's not that good. And to max C, if I go second, which is BA like that, or Pepe. That's about it. Cool. Thanks for showing me, man. And I uh, really appreciate it. And what's your name? Uh, King Yi. King Yi Zhang. Well, thank you for letting me sh show this on my channel. And peace.